Catholic bishops drawn from various churches across the country led by their chair Martin Kivuva from Mombasa County have condemned police brutality witnessed in the just concluded Monday demonstrations led by opposition leader Raila Odinga. We urge restraint of the police in such occasions and ask them against the use of live bullets and excessive force that may cause injury to the people. The bishops have maintained the need of President William Ruto and Azimio leader Raila Odinga to have a dialogue and find a common ground to solve the country's ailments. His Excellency William Ruto to follow through with his promise to sit with and listen to Honorable Raila Odinga and other leaders and come out with some reasonable proposals to address the main plights of our country. We also invite Honorable Raila Odinga to accept dialogue for the good of our country. The bishops further cautioned the Azimiola Omoja and Kenya coalition party leaders against using protest to paralyze the country nor attempt to overthrow Ruto's government. The fact that it is legal to demonstrate should not make it a vehicle to paralyze the country nor degenerate to forceful takeover of a legitimate government. The call that the current government must resign and be replaced by the leader of Azmio Laumoja by acclamation is dangerous. It goes against the fact that Kenya is a country governed by the Constitution. We went to vote and the results were contested in court. Both leaders who faced off in the last general election have remained steadfast with Raila calling for bi-weekly protests to address a range of issues from high living costs to taxation, unemployment and electoral fraud. In this background, the appointment of the uh, bloated uh, CSS does not show sensitivity to the, availing, to the prevailing economic situation. According to the bishops, however, neither chest thumping nor blame games will solve the mess Kenya finds itself in and to the entire opposition. It is not opportune to have demonstrations since such actions will not resolve the problems or the grievances cited. We plead with you not to join dangerous demonstrations. This comes just a day after Odinga announced that the ongoing anti-government protest would be held twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. Harriet Chimea, K24.